We are here with Superior Heating and Air in Healthy Environments, and this is Patrick Jacobs, and we are on the scene where he is gonna do some window film for a client. And so tell us a little bit about the process that we're going through. I know you've already cleaned this window like mm -hmm. crazy. And what um, window film does for a client and what the process is to get that taken care of. Well, normally when I get a, a uh, service call to come out and look at windows, there's a lot of things I take in the uh, factor. Uh, once again, uh, the location of a window. Okay, here we have two bay windows right here and it's on her back patio. I look for the sun structure, which the sun isn't directly hitting the, the uh, windows yet, but it will. Okay. Uh, normally I come in and I use this little thermal red shooter here and I come and I, you know, just point it at the windows and it gives me an accurate temperature of what that pain is right now. So that's the temperature of this glass pane right, right here. now, okay. which is 77 degrees. Okay. So I kind of go to the thermostat of the, of the home's thermostat and I look at that and I kind of put the two together. So this is reading 77 and I just looked at the thermostat over there and it's reading 75. I normally think it's a good temperature within two to three degrees, okay. up to five, depending on location again of the windows. Um, at that time, I can adhere, I can actually apply a window film to this. If this window gets to be a little bit too much, too hot, then I kind of tend to back away from it because then it has to speed up the process for the chemicals, okay? okay? Uh, so far as what type of film will go on this window, it's pretty much up to the customer. What do they want? How much tint do they want? How much light do they want? Uh, and those kind of factors right there. Okay, so I was gonna ask you that about the tint. So it does come in varying levels of tint for the window, so depending on how much you still wanna see out, you can make that determination? That's correct. Okay. The uh, home window tinting is just as the same as car tint, okay. just different companies. I did not know that. Same concept. <laughs> you know, you have your, your 27, 15, and 20% on cars. You have the same thing, but it's just residential. Okay. okay. We have more, way more selections for homes than we do in automotive. So what are we going to be doing on this window today? This window today, we're going to be cleaning the window first of all. Right. Okay. And then once we get the window squeaky clean, as you saw me do yes, earlier, I did. then what's going to happen is I'm going to apply a chemical that's formulated for the adhering of the, the film to the window. Okay. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this window to size. I've already measured it. It is a 32 by 77 window. So I'm going to fix my projector here okay. to cut 32 by 77. All right. Okay. Let's do it. And I heard you say when we came in, this is like the best cutter out there. Well, right? this you is the best cutter for me. For you. Okay. Yes. <laughs> It's the one you love to use. And what yes. kind of a tint are we working with today? We are working with a CS35. This tint is not going to give her too much of a darkness, but it will give her some sort of added security. For one, just a slight tint and a UV protection of up to 60%. Okay. Okay. Excellent. And obviously, as you said, that kind of varies from home to home, depending on how much light is coming into that room. Yes. I've already have my markings for the film, so I know where to stop at and where to cut at. So. Better you than me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do now is get ready to just cut this right off the side. Make sure he's sturdy. That's what I need to use right there, so. Okay, and what is the process for adhering it? I know you said there's some chemicals that go onto the window mm -hmm. when you're adhering that, but this, this doesn't have anything sticky on it. It does. It does, okay. It has a sheeting. It has a sheeting that I have to remove before I can adhere this to the window, okay? okay? And what happens is once I remove the sheeting and I spray the window, saturate it real good with the on chemical that formulated for that, it's gonna start to just fade into it. Okay, okay? all right. And at that time, I will saturate the window again as I will show you. Yep, let okay. me have at it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And we're talking about the comfort level in the home, but this also um, helps with energy efficiency. Is that It correct? does. Okay. It does because m most homeowners and customers need to know that your windows uh, give at least up to 75% of the heat that's coming in a home. Really? Depending on, again, location. Right. 
Location is going to be the key word throughout this whole process here, yeah. okay? Because the higher the windows, the more the heat. Sure. Okay. I may need your assistance here in just a second. I would be happy to help, I okay. think. I hope I can do it right. <laughs> small film on here on the back that I have to pull off. I think I can handle this part. Very good. Oh, now, you. if you would take that bottle on my pocket and you would just totally saturate this whole paper down. Am I spraying you too? You can spray <laughs> me too, I don't mind. I've been wet before. <laughs> so this is what is going to keep this totally against the window. Yes, what this is doing is it's actually activating the glue that's on the film. Okay. And as we talked about before, it has to be so clean because you don't want any air bubbles. No air bubbles. Cat hair, dog hair, nothing should be to the pain. So this is the tricky part because you want to make sure that you get it on nice and even. And then it will do the rest. That's so cool. It's kind of like magic. It it's is. It just kind of sucks it on there. So it also gives you the ability, along with the film on, to actually shift your paper okay. to get it in all the crevices. And then what will happen is I will take this, thank you, and I will wet this down again. Because my next process, I will have to squeegee all the water from behind this and in between the paint. And how, is this a permanent fixture on the windows or how long does something like this typically last? This is, this is a permanent fixture. Okay. It is. The only time you will remove this is unless it's damaged, gets scraped or scratched, or if there are air pockets. And how durable is it, for example, if you have a pet in the home and they like to go over and kind of look out the window and maybe put their paws up there a It's not bit. that durable. Okay. It's not pet friendly. <laughs> not pet friendly, so <laughs> no, we want to keep not. pets away from it. Right. Okay. And the process now is to just squeegee all the water. There we have a little air pocket, but that's okay. Okay, so basically what I'm gonna do is squeegee all the water. Okay, my next phase is to make sure that while I have the window in lock, I can cut the excess. Okay, so I, I did notice you had a little bit of excess, so I'm assuming you want to do more rather than less, because yes, then you can always trim it. Yes, you always, that. and that's exactly the key. You want to trim the excess. Let's see, we have a cat here. Got it. And not to make you do too many things at one time, but mm -hmm. I know as uh, healthy environments, you guys do a lot with air quality and energy efficiency. What yeah. other things do you have to offer? Well, other things that we offer to the homeowners is that we can do a thorough inspection of HVAC. We can also do a thorough inspection of your, of your lighting system, which can lights give off heat. Okay. Uh, we're into upgrading them and actually giving putting in LEDs which are more cost efficient and they burn uh, less electricity and they also give a lot better daylight. That's something I never would have thought about to ask my HVAC person about is a lighting scheme. I would never have thought that. Yes, it's to, 
Today, we need to look at all kind of things to cut costs and rising energy costs because it is rising. Yes. Ductwork being sealed, uh, making sure that everything is in a closed loop HVAC system, all of that. Returns being dirty, all of that we need to look at, evaluate, and make sure that the system is working properly. And how often should somebody think about cleaning their ducts? Well, I normally tell customers after a duct cleaning, their first initial duct cleaning, that they should be looking at this between another three to five years, depending on the severity of the duct cleaning once we came and cleaned it the first time. Because there are duct cleans, there are different types of ducts. You have your metal duct, you have your fiberglass ducting, you have flex ducting. Fiberglass ducting being the most complicated to clean because you have to breach throughout the duct liners to actually clean the ducts. Okay. Well, there is so much information, and you are doing a fabulous job on this window. Thank you for being with us today to share about all of the energy-efficient stuff you guys can do in healthy environments, and make sure you're contacting them for your home.